who's good to pair with A2? Okay, so we got equal burst from both of our burst threes. And uh, A2 got stunned twice there, but let's see what this does. A2 still out damaging Vesti by quite a bit. Okay, so here we have really similar damage. I test with Privity now. So like I said, not only is my Privity a lot more built than A2, but A2 is also not really benefiting from Privity's buffs. Like the reload speed on A2 is like not really a big deal. So this is a pretty bad situation for A2. We'll see, we'll see. Wow, okay. But A2 actually still dramatically outdamaged her. I was not expecting that at all. It is kind of looking like uh, Rapunzel is what you want to be pairing A2 with. Which I think is fine, because again, I think if you're trying to make, you know, a bunch of teams with her... Also, I fell out of uh, B mode, so maybe we could just retry this. Let's retry this. Oh, she was already doing a lot of damage there, a little sneak peek there. Okay, so here are a few screenshots of damage comparisons before I overload A2. This is a zero investment A2 compared to a core 2 privity with two overloads and level 5 to 10 skills. Here's a damage of A2 thrown into a Summer Anise squad. She got destroyed, but this wasn't even a close to a fair fight since this is nearly a complete built Summer Anise with a bunch of her relevant supports. And this is kind of a random Alice squad trying to use enough healing to keep A2 in B mode. I also used her burst only once. This is potentially a more realistic squad, and Modernia dramatically outdamages her, but keep in mind, this is a highly invested Modernia, and A2 still has nothing. Alright, so now I got her to max limit break and affection level 30. Here's another look at the Alice team, and after max limit break, A2 goes up by over 6 million, and is very close to Alice. Her skills are level 1, and no overload gear still. Last comparison is Modernia and A2. Um, after limit breaks, A2's damage goes up by over a million, and interestingly enough, Modernia actually went up by about six million. So it looks like RNG and Modernia might have been stealing some of A2's skills there. So from this comparison, it does look like A2 gets a pretty significant increase by uh, limit breaking her, but there's also just a little bit of inconsistency here, which I'm not exactly sure why things turned out that way. Another thing I want to note here is that for a while I tested her as a third burst three and only bursted with her at the beginning, but never again. The idea being that she can stay in B mode and it can't stack anyway, so I could get better value by cycling through other bursts. But it's looking like you actually want to keep bursting with her even if she's already in B mode because of her skill one, which really ramps up her damage each time she bursts. All right. Uh, let's go on to some interception and closing thoughts. Okay, so let's see... Ooh, we got an Elysian attack arm, that's not bad. Alright, A2... Only putting up kind of decent damage there, I would say. Ooh, we might have lost it right there at the very end. But anyway, that was only just a few seconds that she lost at that time. So, I mean, if she can't be without B mode for like five, six seconds, then, you know. <laughs> a generic helmet, not so great. All right. Okay, significantly better damage this time. So since we were able to keep her up in B mode, 
Um, definitely better. Actually somewhat close to Modernia and outdamaging Maelstra there. So, I mean, clearly we can see the value of keeping her in B mode here, right? Because there was only, like, maybe, like, five, six seconds of her at the end there of not being in B mode. But when we had her out of B mode for, like, half the fight, her damage dropped like a stone. So, so summary, summarizing thoughts, initial impressions of A2. Um, A2 can do a lot of damage. We're seeing a lot of inconsistency in her damage, and some of these things we're not really sure why. Um, also, keeping her in B mode is critical. Her damage severely drops off without B mode. Um, she is a high risk, high reward unit that I think could benefit with future supports. Right now, I would say she is not a top tier unit, although in some situations could deal out top tier damage. Um, I also think that bunny girls are a pretty good comp for her. Um, especially with the synergy of wanting to keep your HP up both with A2 and with uh, Noir. Um, we'll do more full testing, of course, with her. And uh, I'll have a full review on her. Um, again, damage can be there, but we're getting a lot of inconsistency. Also, I would say probably not going to be the best in PvP, but that's totally a guess off of you testing with her there. Um, if you like her, go for her. I'm a huge fan. I like her. Damage is very erratic and somewhat hard to use. Probably could be used on solo raid depending on what your, your squads are. And we'll see how she benefits from future supports. Anyway, keep an eye out for my full review on her coming out in a few days. And uh, thanks for watching.